What's going on guys? How's everybody doing? I um, want to shoot a quick video and I want to discuss this Corin Gaines shooting, okay? She was a black woman who was shot and killed by Baltimore County police officers during a um, attempt basically to, to arrest her for, some out, for an outstanding like traffic slash bench warrant, okay? Now, um, I, I, you know, it, what the cops are saying is they shot and killed her as they tried to arrest her and she was sitting in her apartment holding a shotgun in one hand and her five-year-old son in the other. That's pretty crazy. Um, that's absolutely, if that's the case, you know, what a, what a heartbreaking um, scene, a, a mother trying to use her five-year-old boy as a, as a human shield, if that's the case. Um, just absolutely disgusting. But uh, let's get into a little background. Apparently she was stopped on March 11th. Now her mother says she suffered some pretty substantial mental illness. And reading what I'm reading here kind of, you know, confirms that, that this woman was not playing with a full deck of cards, all right? So the cops start, stopped her on March 11th because she was driving in a car, and she had removed the license plate and put a rectangular piece of cardboard with the following written on it, okay? And I quote, any government, any government official who compromises this pursuit to happiness and right to travel will be held criminally responsible and fined as this is a natural right to freedom. Okay, so right there I'm thinking this bitch is probably fucking crazy, like legit, like she probably is crazy, right? So of course she resisted arrest, flipped out, had a fight with the cops, um, she was charged, they hit her with just a ton of charges, um, you know, resisting, interfering with arrest, disorderly conduct, disturbing the peace, littering, um, let's see what else they, what did they charge her with here, um, operating an unregistered motor vehicle, driving without current tags, driving an uninsured vehicle, failure to display registration cards, you know, they, they hit her with everything they could possibly hit her with, probably because she was driving with this crazy ass little sign and she resisted arrest big time, all right, so, surprise, surprise, she never shows up to court for her traffic charges, so they issue a bench warrant, right? And as the cops go to arrest her for the bench warrant, a standoff ensues. Now, during this standoff, she actually shoots video and posts it on Facebook. Now, the cops contacted Facebook and had them take the take the video and the post down, all right? But she 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 streamed some some of this ordeal, and some of it's on the internet for you to see, all right? Now, um. In the apartment with her at this time was, I don't know if it's her boyfriend, baby's daddy, but there was a dude in there with the one-year-old baby. There was a one-year-old and a five-year-old, okay? And he got out with the one-year-old and it took off. He was actually wanted for a separate domestic violence issue. He was wanted, too, for beating Corin Gaines' ass, all right? So he was there with her, and he was already wanted for, a, you know, beating, beating her up or attacking her or some shit that happened before, okay? So he was wanted for that, so they took him into custody and released him, all right? But apparently what the cops are saying now, and if what they're saying is true, um, you know, then this bitch got what she deserved. I'm just going to be flat out honest. They said she was holding the five-year-old and firing at the cops with, with the shotgun, you know, in the other hand. Holding the boy in one hand, shooting at the cops. The cops returned fire. The cops shot her, um, killed her, all right? If they're, if they're, and, and the boy was injured, but he should be okay. They said he was, he was injured, wounded in one of his extremities. They don't say if it was if from the cops or from her shooting. I would assume it was from the police returning fire. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, like I said, if 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 they're, you know, if they're the events that they claim happened happened, then she got exactly what she deserved. If you're gonna use a five year old boy as a human shield, you did you deserve to eat a fucking a bunch of bullets. What a what a pile of shit, man. I don't care if you're crazy or not. You got to leave this fucking planet. And she's gone. And if that's the case, good riddance. Now let's see if the police release evidence body cam footage, physical evidence to back up their claims, okay? I have no doubt in my mind this is probably going to be a good shooting. Whether she was holding the boy or not, she probably had a shotgun. She definitely had a shotgun. Um, she posted videos of herself and pics on Instagram holding her, her fucking shotgun. Um, so I have no doubt that this is probably going to be a good shooting, you know? And a lot of the um, talking heads out there say, oh, another, another black woman murdered by Baltimore PD because they took down her Facebook and people thought it was shady. I don't think there's anything shady about this. I think this woman was su severely, substantially mentally ill and, and had a massive psychotic break and um, wanted to go down swinging. And uh, she got her wish. And unfortunately, um, if, if she really put her child in, in, in harm's way during this, what a sad, sad, sad thing for that boy to have to go through, man. Five-year-old boy lost his crazy-ass mother because she decided to shoot out with the cops with him sitting on her fucking lap. Absolutely tragic, absolutely terrible. Like I said, when the smoke clears, I think this one will probably be a good shooting. 
you know, as good as a shooting can be. But I don't know. Let's wait and see what Baltimore County Police relief. Ho hopefully there is some footage that backs their, their, their side of the events, and, and, and this one can be put to bed, okay? Just my opinion. That's all I got on this one. You guys be safe, and I'm going to catch you next time. Peace.